Good morning, everybody. It is some, some, summertime, 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 some, some, summertime. Okay, we're getting there. All right, seven more days. But I have a cool, fun craft for you guys today that's going to help us get ready for summer. So there's two different things we're going to learn about today. And the first one is how to make sponge uh, water balls, for example. So what you're going to need is two sponges and you can get more if you want but start off with two sponges even if you have some dirty ones laying around at home you don't have to buy brand new ones if you don't want that's okay but these are pretty cheap anywhere even the grocery store you can get them at okay so we're gonna need a couple sponges like this you're going to need a rubber band you're gonna definitely need a scissors and then for our second project we're going to make some moon sand how fun is that, right? Um, you can use it outside or keep it in a nice container if you're gonna have it in the house. So what you're gonna need for that is you're gonna need some flour. Here's my tub of flour. You're gonna need a little bit of baby oil. Remember we used some of that for the um, um, stress bottle and some measuring cups. And then I have got a glass plate here or bowl container so I can keep the sand in there so it doesn't get all over the house because we don't want anybody upset about doing these things. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sponges for your sponge balls and you're gonna cut them into six equal strips. Okay, both of them, you're gonna keep cutting them into six equal little strips. Okay, so after you got them cut up, you're gonna lay them on top of each other. Oops. <laughs> you're gonna lay them on top of each other and you're gonna wrap the rubber band right around the middle. You wanna make it kinda tight. So the rubber band is wrapped around both of them and it looks a little goopy like this. Then we're gonna spread them out. Spread them out like this and they look so fun. Like what a cool ball. Dex even likes to catch these because I've made these before. And you can play catch with him or you soak them in water and when your brother or sister comes out of the house, wham, and you get them all wet. And it doesn't really hurt either. It's kind of fun that way. All right, so let's move on to the next one and making our moon sand. All right, Dex and I are about to make moon sand. He's kind of curious about what's going on here. So we have two cups of flour just regular flour that you have in your kitchen. And then I have one quarter of a cup of baby oil. So that's one slash four, so it's one quarter of a cup. Okay, think about a whole cup is in fours. It's just one fourth of that cup. So we're gonna pour them in our big dish and then we're gonna start to mix it all together. All right, guys, I'm mixing this up, I'm mixing this up. I gotta admit though, I'm no Martha Stewart. Uh, I don't think my moon sand turned out the best. I actually had to add extra baby oil to it. But on the other hand, now it clumps together and you can make some neat things. Maybe you've got a younger brother or sister and you just wanna make them happy. This is a fun thing that you can do together with them and they would just adore you and love you and hopefully be a lot nicer to you because you did such a nice thing helping them make moon sand. So you guys, try this out, send me pictures. I would love to see some cool projects that you guys all make. Happy Thursday.